my offspring. Mother is here. Mommy Gray Gray! And today, we will be taking a look at some really, really, I mean really weird items that you can find at your local internet store known as Amazon. Amazon is like the king of everything right now. I think um, Jeff Bezos is now the richest man in the world. He's actually beat out Bill Gates. Like no one has defeated Bill Gates in like a really, really long time. But today we're gonna take a look at some of these items and see just how weird does it get on Amazon. So the first product we're gonna take a look at is Oh, wow, wow, okay. It is a silicone steamer that looks like a pig's face is melting on your food. Mmm, I think it's the appetite worked up. Mm. First of all, it's like pig skin sitting on top of your food. And then what makes this really, really gross is that it's not like steaming veggies or something. It is literally sitting on top of a bunch of like, it looks like a boiling vegetable. So it looks like someone dropped the pig's head in there and he's trying to like, the skin kind of floated to the surface. Ah! I guess if you really hate pigs or love pigs, like you either love, love pigs or you hate, hate pigs to use this. Anyone in between like me, we're not buying this product, no. And just for facts, it is $24.94. Really, you want me to pay for some pig skin for $24.94? No. Next we have, wow, okay. This is advertised as a real skin on salmon filet. I mean, I, I don't understand like who decided that this was a product that we should have and want. I, I don't know, when I think about laying down at night, the idea of dead fish is the furthest thing from my mind. Pretty much that's all I like to do with salmon is eat it. Like there's nothing else to do with salmon unless you like keep a, you're like trying to save the salmon and you keep one in your backyard. Huh? I, I don't know girl, I don't. And why does she look, she really looks like this is, this is it. She's giving me that look too. Like I bet you wish this was your pillow. No, I don't. <gasps> oh! Dude, okay, what what in the world? I love gummy bears, but they this is why did they do this to Mr. Gummy? Look at the little hand, like, help me, help me. And like his mouth is like, you know, he's like trapped in the glass. He's trying to get out, guys. Look at his hands. Is this to teach children the anatomy of a bear? Like, who wants to think about this when you want a gummy bear? And then his intestines are all oozing at the bottom. <laughs> okay, this is cringy. If you're looking for something, you know, to really freak people out, this will do it for you. Wow. He looks good. I mean, he looks fantastic. Who doesn't want a mullet with a headband attached? I mean, look at me with my mullet. I mean, I look good. I am legit winning in life. If you're walking around with this, I, honestly, you've given up actually. You've given up on all, uh, on any hope of getting a girlfriend or attracting anyone of any species to come and, you know, date you, marry you, whatever the case may be. If uh, people want to look at me as like some sort of a legend, I mean. And then like there's just chest hair coming out of the tank top and he almost has that serial killer look like. Okay, your screen is not frozen. This is actually me. 25 placenta recipes. Easy and delicious recipes for cooking with placenta. We gotta do this right. Hello, I'm Mommy Cray Cray, and I've written a book. 25 delicious and easy recipes you can make with your placenta after you give birth. Really? Really? I've heard of people eating their placenta. If you eat your placenta, no shade. No shade! But no boo. I can't do it. There's too many other things for me to eat. But what is this picture? What part is the placenta? Is it the brown part? Is it the black part? Is it the stew on the bottom? I want to believe in my heart of hearts that the orange part are carrots. This is the most unappetizing picture you could possibly put on a cookbook. And then you top it off with the word placenta. Oh, I need some water. I need, this is just, I'm triggered. I'm triggered. I am triggered. What, what is going on? Why are people obsessed with like the anatomy? This blanket, I mean, you're seeing all the human organs. This is a fleece blanket so you know what life is like without skin. I don't know about you, but I have never had a moment where I said, hmm, I really wonder what it would be like if I had 
no skin. Can you imagine coming home and like your husband's laying on the couch or whoever, your mom, whoever is laying on the couch and you walk in and you see that? It looks like they've been skinned alive. This would freak your kids out. If you wanna scare someone in your life, get this blanket, throw it over yourself and wait till they come home. I promise you, they will lose it. Oh, this next one is so cute. He is weird. If I just saw this pillow with nothing else, like no words, no one told me what it was, I would just think, oh, he's a cute little creature. Look at his little smile. I may even get it for Nye and Ellie. And if you don't know who Nye and Ellie are, they are my kids. They have their own channel. They have way more subscribers than I do. So go check them out. He is actually a plush tonsil, you know, a thing in the back of your throat. If you look at the picture, it's from a company that says Heart Guts. Yes, people, the plush company is called Heart Guts. He kind of looks like a big toe if you kind of turn him around. I don't know, but he has all those bumps on him. Ooh, trypophobia. Ooh. Wow, okay. Hmm. This next one is very special. It is a disembodied husband pillow, meaning it's like his, the, it's a pillow that has a shirt on with an arm so you can feel snuggled with your husband or boyfriend. I don't even know who. Like, are you just so lonely? Are you in such need of comfort that you are willing to have your pillow dressed up as a human? Can you imagine the pranks you could pull with this? You could put a little mannequin head on it. Your pillow has an arm. Your pillow has an arm. Oh, dude, what is up? This is reminding me of the pig skin. It, listen, it is a pocket sized suture pet. Now, maybe this is needed for doctors or nurses who are learning in medical school or medical training, but still sell this at a medical facility. Why is this for sale? You can suture on the go. Time to practice my suturing. <laughs> Come here, kids. <laughs> What's funny is that it's called your design. You know, Project Runway, like, they're, you're designing. This isn't the normal suturing. This is designer suturing. We have your design ready for you. Can you imagine if you went to the doctor and you had like your head is like cut open and they're just like, okay, so I can sew this up in a couple of ways. Take a look at my catalog. Really people, really? Oh, what? This isn't real. Is this real? You can really buy, you can buy live Madagascar hissing cockroaches from Amazon, people. Let's just say you're on Amazon one day. Oh, I think I'll get some toilet paper. Oh, I've been wanting to read that book. I guess I get a few grocery items. Oh, yep. Need that macaroni and cheese. Would you like to add these Madagascar hissing cockroaches to your order? <laughs> How is this legal? I just wanna know, why is it legal to buy a living thing on Amazon? Are they stored at the Amazon warehouse? Okay, so they are not Amazon Prime. <laughs> listen, listen, cockroach seller. I need my stuff to be prime. I'm gonna need my cockroaches stored. I can't believe this is real. Like, who is ordering cockroaches on the internet? Y'all, what is we doing? And last but not least, and regardless of your political affiliation, pay that no mind. We are net neutrality right here. But I just wanna tell you something that is extremely weird. All the rest of them were weird, but they were functional. This is just weird for the fact of being weird. And that is a Donald Trump scented candle. And not just a scented candle. It is a scented candle with hair. And folks, you are in for a treat because I actually have the candle here. Take a look at this bad boy. It is a Donald Trump scented candle. And I must tell you, the hair on here is very plush. It's a little shedding, but you can actually give your candle a comb over. This was weirding me out. So, so much. It says, make America smell great again. What could possibly a Donald Trump candle smell like? Let's open it up. Let's see if we can pull the, oh. Does this smell like fake tan? <laughs> and it's orange. It smells like a greasy suntan and a little bit of motor oil. Why is there motor oil in here? Anyway, guys, this is probably, 
the weirdest thing sold on Amazon. I mean, no, the roaches are the weirdest. I don't know, all of these were weird. But if you like this video and you wanna make mommy great again, make sure you subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram at Mommy Cray Cray and also on Facebook and Mommy Cray Cray. Maybe I'll do a giveaway of this beautiful suntan lotion burnt oil. I don't, it, it's just, yeah, they need to, yeah, this is not. But he is, it, it is nice to pet.